Hey, Steve Jankowski back for Twitter Training 102 and this will be a little bit more advanced and you can see I've made some notes on the board behind me of the, some of the do's and don'ts in Twitter. Now, probably the most important thing about Twitter is for you to actually engage with people online. There are a lot of people that, and we'll talk a little bit more when we get down here, that, that they put out auto-tweets of just a whole bunch of quotes from Gandhi or Churchill or Roy Rogers or Will Rogers or anybody important. They put out all these pithy quotes and they think that that makes them look sharp. Well, for most people on Twitter, they know that that's somebody who isn't really all there. So actually engage with people and talk with people. This is attraction marketing. This is social marketing. This is a social medium so you need to actually communicate and engage with people and that is very very important and a don't that kind of goes with that is don't market all the time don't constantly be talking about your MLM or your affiliate product or or what you can do for people you want to actually just make friends on Twitter tell jokes compliment people say you liked their blog post people will appreciate that Following people, okay, you need to follow people, and when people first get into Twitter, there's this burning desire, this burning drive to get as many followers as possible. It kind of makes it feel like a, a popularity contest. My wife, when I first got involved in Twitter, she kind of thought it was so high school, because it's just a popularity contest. Well, it kind of is. You want to get followers, but you don't want to be too aggressive in following people. You don't want to follow too many. Twitter has built in some constraints so that you cannot follow more than 2,000 people until you actually have 2,000 people. And so when you get to the point where you're, you have say 1,800 followers and you're following 2,000 followers, people, you can't get any more people to follow because you have too many because Twitter won't let you go over that 2,000 threshold. So it's actually pretty hard to get over 2,000 followers. To do that, you're probably going to have to unfollow some people. You'll understand it once you get into it, but the bottom line is if you have 100 followers, I wouldn't be following more than three or four or 500. You don't want to have 100 followers and be following 2,000. Because when people come and they look at your profile and they see, oh, you only have 100 people but you're following 2,000, they know that you're only viewing Twitter as a popularity contest. So you want to stay kind of proportionally ahead on who you're following as you build your Twitter following. Um, you don't want to do spam on Twitter. Spam is just constantly putting out pitches for your business and people will unfollow you if that's all, of, all that they see. You don't want to swear on Twitter because Twitter is a, a public environment and some people will be offended by that and if you have any intention of doing any marketing at all on Twitter you want to look like a, a respectable person. So I would discourage any swearing and then kind of going along with that one of the neat things about Twitter is you're limited to 140 characters. So things like pornography haven't really proliferated too much on Twitter. But there are people that are trying to push porn sites on Twitter. And I would just encourage you not to follow those people, not to click on their links. It just kind of encourages them. And every once in a while you'll see a, an avatar of some somebody and you'll click on it and there'll be a, a little screen that pops up from Twitter saying, oops, there's nothing to see here, mosey on along now. Well, that's probably a porn site or something that Twitter has actually shut down. But Twitter is a pretty safe environment. You still need to watch your kids if they're on it, but kind of, if we can, as a group, discourage those sites, that would be great. Um, you'll see I have auto-tweets listed both on do's and don'ts. As you build your list and you get into the thousands of people that are following you and you begin to use Twitter as a marketing platform, auto-tweets do have their place. And there are some places that you can go to get some tools to do that. Tweet Later is one of them. 
Um, as far as tweet tool, tweet Twitter tools, I like Tweet Later, Hummingbird, and the Tweet Deck, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in another video. But auto tweets are okay. It's just don't sit down and schedule auto tweets to go out every 10 minutes, 24 hours a day, with the same quotes from, as I said earlier, from Gandhi, from Churchill, from whoever, you know, from quotable people. Don't keep just sticking those out there all the time because people will very quickly realize that you're probably at the beach if you're as prosperous as you say you are or you're at your nine to five and you're just running the auto tweets to give people the impression that you're actually around and you're not. So be very careful on how you use those auto tweets. Auto DMs. A lot of times people will set up an automated direct message to go to people when you follow them or when people follow them. So the message will say, you know, nice to meet you, here's a great tool. And they'll put the link in for their Twitter tool that will get them 16,000 followers in less than 90 days or in 30 days. And don't do that. It's very insincere and nobody reads those and they just delete them. I personally don't even like auto DMs. I've used them for about a week and now I don't even use them at all. I don't like them because I know people don't use them. When you get to the point where you have thousands of people following you, that means that you have followed thousands of people. And if all of those people are using auto DMs, that means you're having to delete thousands of DMs from your account. And it's kind of a pain in the neck. So I'd almost recommend staying away from auto DMs. Um, as far as topics to discuss, understand that if you talk about politics and religion, or you know, sexual orientation, gun control, things, incendiary subjects, you are going to alienate some people and thereby reduce your marketplace if you're using Twitter for marketing. I do talk about politics and occasionally religion, but I try to be really judicious on how I do that. And just think about that as you're doing that. And at any rate, I think that'll about wrap it up for Twitter 102. Look for Twitter, Twitter 103 to give you a few more advanced tactics on how to effectively market on Twitter. See you in a little bit.